May is Jewish American Heritage Month, and we're focusing on stories that reflect the Jewish experience. One Holocaust survivor was too young to remember what happened, but now she is seeing her story on film. Stevie S2's Steve Overmeyer reports. So this is a distribution card for my father. Stella Fertig always had written verification she survived the Holocaust, but has no memory of that experience. Everybody tells me you're better off not remembering. And I don't know if I'm better off. Because? It's more real. It's like a story that has been told to me my whole life, and I don't remember. Researchers in Holland recently restored this film to the point they could actually make out the names on the bags. It led to the positive identification of three children waving through a window en route to a concentration camp. One of them was Stella. They questioned me like, but you were so little, how could they? And I said, I had Jewish blood, it was good enough for the Nazis. That's it, get rid of them. Stella, her brother and cousin were separated from their parents. Stella's mother worked in a camp, while Stella was one of 46 Dutch Jewish children left to die. They were dumped in a field there and just Juden kinder, you know, uh, not important. Another prisoner named Luba made it her mission to keep the children fed and alive, and she did. 44 survived, including an infant who's now a grandmother in Queens. Oh, it is home. I've lived here longer than I lived in Holland. And yet, I still speak with an accent. I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Historic images showing a life she doesn't remember. For the past 77 years, Stella made a new life while remaining devoted to her history and outlasting her captors. Here, I'm sitting and talking to you. And they didn't want that, the Nazis. You feel pretty victorious. Absolutely. I had the pleasure of seeing my children grow up and become happy adults, and I see now my grandchildren, and I'm eating it up. It, it's wonderful. Absolutely incredible images there. Stella and her brother were both liberated and reunited with their mother after nearly two years in the camp. She says her mother lived a long and happy life, and her brother still lives in Holland.